Hello, my lovely Aquarians. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Aquarius, I welcome you to April readings. And in this reading, we're looking into your finance, your career energies, everything related to money. Could be your job, could be your business, could be some kind of idea you have. Or it could be, hey, I'm at the crossroads, what should I do? Whatever energy comes in love will be shared with you. Might be a great one, might be not as great as you anticipate. But if you are here on the channel, definitely you will see the real talk. So let's see, loves, what do we have for you? It's a general reading. You know how the drill is. Fool. Many, many of you, you are taking a chance into something new. Death, completely different than what you done before. Five of Wands, many of peers or many people around you might not agree, but definitely here is gonna be taken. Yeah, for some of you, whatever you do is kind of, I'm not gonna, care whatever whoever says but I feel here this is major change for many Aquarians Hierophant Nine of Cups Ace of Pentacles and the Empress OMG yes Empress and the Hierophant this is more likely for some of you around the um, the Taurus season, but also I'm feeling here the, the new beginning, it's very, very strong. Ace of Wands could be in one week, could be within this, this year. Something here you wanted. If you want stability, there is something new that will bring you abundance and stability. For many, many of you Aquariuses, you know Mercury enters in uh, Taurus in the beginning of the month, but Mercury retrograde comes at the, uh, the 21st, around the end of the month. So that's the time when this opportunity, this movement comes to you. What's this Five of Wands here? It's kind of, I see a lot of back and forth energy here. Five of Cups sun so what i'm feeling here for some of you it's kind of with regret i gotta let you guys go or i need to change whatever i do because this is towards my happiness so this major change you make it because you feel the needed sun also speaks about um rebirth recharge renewal and the death it's quite at the same time it's like you know i gotta take this chance for some of you you just def definitely see one in a lifetime chance and for some of you with this five of ones five of cups it's kind of like you know i don't need to be sorry for those people even i am kind of sorry but they don't get me they don't get where I'm going and they don't need to get where you're going because only you are knowing. You know, the universe always offers to each and every one something. And that's not a conference call. Hey, I'm giving to Aquarius this and I don't give to Pisces that and so on. This is just for you. So if someone here doesn't get it, let them to not get it. You don't need to explain yourself. You don't need to be sorry because you do this. You don't need to be sorry because they are not on the way to that journey as you are. And that's okay. I feel here also for some of you, if you are, my leave a job behind, my leave a corporation behind, whatever you leave behind, they, they will try to bring you back somehow. But it's kind of you, it's kind of you feel sorry because some people don't get to see what you do see. And speaking of you loves, Pluto now is in your zodiac sign. 
and a lot, a lot of changes will happen for you for the next 20 years. However, in the next three months, Pluto got in uh, your zodiac sign in March. So end of March, April, May, June, that's the month when you are kind of preparing for what will be in the next 20 years. And Nine of Cups clarifying its page of pentacles. It's like, I want something new. If somebody here doesn't like it, it's their problem. But I feel here this new, it's more abundant than ever you had there. Yes. Six of Cups and King of Cups. You like what you do. You are comfortable for what you do. But I feel here there is a big challenge that you are definitely, you feel that it's worth the take. However, this challenge will change your life forever and for the better, for the better. There seems here there is an Aquarius who leave a corporate job for opening a business or working for themselves. But I feel here that's, that's something here you you wanted since you were Lila. It's in the beginning. I feel here there's something also that in the beginning might not bring you much. There's something here that doesn't bring me much in the beginning. But I'm more peaceful. I'm more, more connected with my real people. I'm more connected with my own self. And I feel here, once you do that, because you know the rule, being grateful for what you have comes more, because that's its gratitude energy. I'm grateful for what I have, not what I don't. I focus what I have, not what I don't. The death energy here brings to you a hangman. For some of you, you fell definitely at the crossroads. With a hangman here, you felt quite stuck. I can't do too much where I am. So that's the move. For some of you, you now see a lot of things very different than you used to probably a couple months or a couple years ago. And the hangman definitely sees the things differently than you used to. Yes, this uh, this change, this challenge is it's gonna bring to you certain things. Yes, that you never, never explore or, or expected. For some of you, yes, taking this new chance. King of Wands speaks about uh, an opportunity to build your own tribe, to build your own legacy, to build your own idea, because. You know, em Empress is pregnant, and this is a lady who is pregnant, like, for a couple good months, nine months. For some of you, yes, you you might welcome a child in your family, and you want to spend more time with the child. That's why you are connecting and doing these changes. It's like, I don't want to just stay at my work all day and not spend the time with my family. So indeed here, whatever changes are quite amazing, quite amazing. And yes, I see here for many, many of you Aquarians, you are leaving a job for being your own boss, for working for yourself or be a self-employed. But it seems here this is something that you... You definitely gotta take it or you definitely will gonna take it the advice for you loves here from spirit nine of pentacles be confident in your own guidance be confident in the move you are taking forward knight of swords because i feel here you are entering into a time that you gotta keep up look at this four of wands happiness, abundance, celebration. Yes, six of pentacles and the tower. For some of you, yes, be very careful how you manage or how you can work it through because for some of you, you will could be, you know, 
surprise, but the tower really speaks of over the sudden you are in such a, an energy that you you'll be quite overwhelmed. So the six of pentacles speaks of try to balance the things out or try to bring balance in whatever you do. So you will not either burn out or either do too much. It's it's kind of something here about don't do too much what you feel you can burn or what you can be burned, something in the, those lines. But overall, probably this is one of the best reading I done for the month of April for any zodiac sign. So you are the one who get that credit, loves goodness. The advice from the oracles, look at here, choose your path, the direction guardian. You choose where you go. This is kind of the world card for me. So you are beginning a whole new energy forward. Heart guardian, love and let yourself be loved. Bring the energy of love. Do what you want and love. Intend and create. Be, it's kind of creating your own life creating your own tribe, creating your own job and trader exchange energy to create abundance. Yes. I feel here whatever you do is to go kind of with the flow energy, which that is absolutely beautiful. Wow. Aquarius speechless for your reading, but beautifully speechless. Thank you for being here thank you for coming and i hope you enjoy this reading i hope this resonates with you if it does you know we will appreciate a like a subscribe to the channel or even a comment thank you loves many blessings bye for now